commitment. Somebody say commitment. commitment. Do y'all even have the same definition? Okay, okay, I, I, gotta, I gotta go here. I got time. I'm, I'm gonna teach it. I'm done. Okay, okay, okay. H- have, you ever, have you ever thought about this? Asking the person you're dating, what's your definition of cheating? I'm talking better than y'all saying amen. Because you might not agree. I'm saying you can't text another dude. But you think that's okay. Now, do we agree on that or not? Uh, uh, I say you can't go to lunch with somebody from the opposite sex without telling me. And I got to say yes. I ain't talking about just letting me know. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no just, I thought you wouldn't want to, I thought you might want. Ain't no, I thought you might. Wait till I say yes or no. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, I love y'all. Every, every, every young lady, every woman that has joined this church, I love you with my whole heart. But let me tell you something right now. If I'm ever driving by myself and you get caught in the rain or you got a flat tire, I will be praying your strength in the Lord. I ain't stop. I'm not, I'm not getting it. I'm not gonna get you. You're not getting in my car. We're not gonna be seen on the side of the road together. I will call AAA for you. Trust me. Trust me. You gonna say, is that pastor? It probably was. It probably was. If I see you at a restaurant, you can't even sit with me. If I'm sitting by myself, you can't sit with me. No. I don't want my evil, I don't want my good to be evil spoken of. Say amen, everybody. And although we, we, we say things like, I don't care what nobody think, I don't care what nobody say, perspectives and impressions, oh my God, are key and they are critical. So I love you. And I hope all goes well. <laughs> not not going to help. I'm not gonna help. And, I, and Cold Pastor and I even have a rule. If, if there's anything that is uh, uh, female related that is absolutely positively unavoidable or, or something like that, which I can't see what would be, uh, but it's completely and totally unavoidable, I call her and we stay on the phone until you go. I bless God for FaceTime. Yeah, I am. Copac say, put the phone in the air. Let me look around. Let me see where you're at. The whole... (laughs) The whole thing. Did you hear what I just said? I'm already there. Let me go a little bit further. I'm already there. And co-pastor can search my phone. But, but let me tell you why. Okay, I've heard so many people say, uh, if you go looking for something, you're going to find it. You can't find what's, what's not there. You, you can't find what's not there. Ain't no picture on my phone she can't see. There aren't any texts on my phone she cannot see. Because if you text me crossways, I'm giving it to her. Hey, look what they said. Look, look what they said. Look what they, look what they tried. They tried to set me up. Look what they said. <laughs> I love her. I love her. Check this out. I also honor her. And that is our agreed upon definition of commitment. Have you even talked about what commitment looks like to them? 
something we don't talk about, something we don't even converse. And you think they should know. No, culture may dictate something different. The culture that they grew up in may dictate a different level of commitment. But that's not what you desire. Somebody say amen to that. Uh, as far as commitment is concerned, let me, let me take it, let me, let, me go, let me go a different direction. Um, are they a quitter? Every time you argue, do y'all break up? <laughs> you know, are they extreme? Every time y'all fussing, that's it. That's it again? <laughs> that's it again. Okay. How long is that going to be it this time? Are, are they a quitter? Are they a quitter as far as employment? Because every woman wants a man that can hold a job. Let, let me tell you, brothers, let me tell you something that's not fair. Listen to what I'm going to already tell you. This is not fair. It will never change. Women are allowed to change whenever they want to. <laughs> change careers, change focus, change clothes, change styles, change hair. Change, they can change everything whenever they want. But they expect you to be stable. When a man changes, we call it a crisis. <laughs> when a woman changes, we call it Monday. <laughs> so, so, so I'm saying that because men need to understand that you being consistent gives them peace. You being committed somewhere gives them a sense of peace and stability the, the stability you have helps them honor you. If you are wayward, if you vacillate, if you are unable to make decisions, if you are uh, unable to commit, it causes them to feel insecure about who you are. And then it's difficult for them to honor because they don't know who they're honoring. Are they honoring the entrepreneur? Are they honoring... This job you, are they honoring that job you? Are, so, so if you're going back and forth all the time, it's going to take them a minute to catch up to who you have evolved into being. So there's a certain level of commitment even in career that, that a man has to provide in order for his family to be stable. Can y'all say amen to that? Amen. 